Live from the Bay Area's news station, this is Cron 4 News at 9. Radical treatment tonight by healthcare workers walking off the job in an attempt to save jobs. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo in for Catherine Heeman. Hundreds of healthcare workers sick of job cuts, and now you might feel their pain. It's a developing story, and Cronfor's Heather Donald has it live in Oakland. Heather. Well, the spotlight on New York tonight, where the Republican National Convention opens tomorrow. But stealing the limelight earlier, more than 120,000 demonstrators all there to give the GOP a very special welcome. As CNN's Eric Phillips reports, so far the security has stayed tight and the protests have stayed peaceful. We'll stick with Cron 4 for continuing coverage on the RNC. Catherine Heenan will join us live from New York coming up at 9.30 on For the Record. And each night, Cron 4 will air an hour of special convention coverage starting at 10. Of course, New York security is tighter than ever tonight, not only because of the convention, but because of a plot police uncovered against that city's subway. Now, 3,000 miles away, our BART system is also feeling this security squeeze. Authorities are now increasing patrols and say they'll randomly inspect trains and stations looking for anything suspicious. They're also asking the public to police themselves to keep their eyes open and report anything suspicious. New developments to report tonight on the Bay Bridge cost overrun controversy. Governor Schwarzenegger is now getting involved with the bridge builder's contract. Now, the current bid on the bridge seismic overhaul was set to expire on September 30th, resulting in increased costs and further delays. But a Schwarzenegger spokesperson says the governor will ask the company to extend the contract deadline. The legislature in Schwarzenegger are at odds over how to pay for the $2.3 billion in cost overruns to replace the quake damage span. An 81-year-old man appears to be California's newest millionaire. World War II veteran Walter Tracy has tonight come forward to claim his part of Saturday's $100 million jackpot. There are three winners and all the other tickets were sold in Sausalito and down in Huntington Peach. Well, there's much more ahead on Cron 4 News at 9. Sonoma County detectives are turning to a TV show to help generate leads in a beach murder mystery. Also, find out what's coming up this week in the Scott Peterson murder trial. A computer expert on the stand next in the Scott Peterson double murder trial. He'll talk about Peterson's time online, including the time Peterson spent searching on the Internet for a boat. Later this week, prosecutors will try to prove that dogs tracked Lacey Peterson sent all the way back to the Berkeley Marina. That's where Peterson says he went fishing the day she disappeared. Even after several weeks of phone transcripts that show Peterson lying about key facts shortly after his wife went missing, legal analysts point out there's been no direct evidence yet linking Peterson to his wife's murder. Other stories making news around the Bay tonight. Police in Sonoma County are hoping the TV show America's Most Wanted will drum up some solid leads in the case of two camp counselors murdered on a local beach. Now, they were found shot to death on Fishhead Beach about two weeks ago. While police say they've received hundreds of tips, they say they've little to go on. The story was featured on the crime show just last night. Well, it has cooled off in the city and across the Bay. Is it time to put away those shorts? Or can we expect another round of warm weather? Mark Tamayo is coming up with our seven day around the bay. And the weather is not so nice in South Carolina. Still ahead, a look at the devastation in the wake of a tropical storm. South Carolina in a state of emergency tonight in the wake of tropical storm Gaston. Dozens have been left homeless after high winds and rains flooded their homes and knocked down power lines in that area. Much of that area is still cleaning up from Hurricane Charlie that hit just two weeks ago. Mark Tamayo is here with a look at what we can expect locally. Mark. At least we had options this weekend. You know, I had some people in from Phoenix this weekend. It was wow. fun explaining to them that this was actually a heat wave <laughs> for us. I guess they're used to this type of weather. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. much hotter. Thanks a lot. And Vern, uh, Barry Bonds tonight oh, on fire. Barry Bonds just went crazy with the bat. An adult film icon, Jenna Jameson. Jenna, sports final. Great. Thanks a lot, Vern. We'll see you at 11.